motorcycles are the cars is extremely important for me because if there's one thing that I really wanted to do on this and that was to keep a monochromatic look to all the cars. Smart. So I will choose the cars along with casting and I'll choose them very specifically based upon the colours of the cars and the looks of the cars just to retain that overall, you know, thread that's running through the movie. And Justin's been very good to sort of go along with that. The design of the car, you know, we went with the matte black. It matches actually this bike that I had as a kid that I got made fun of all the time. It was a banana seat bike that my, my parents got me. And to be able to use that color and put it in our final action sequence, it means a lot to me to be able to bring that back. And then at the same time, it actually made the cars the way they're supposed to look. It's one of these cars that's sexy and has a lot of character. I mean, going down the road, it just looks like it's staring at you. Well, you can't help but look at it as a face. From the state that they are, from going from sort of civil police cars to the matte black look, it was a question of how much cosmetic work would these guys have actually done? How much detail would they have gone into? But there had to be a slightly sort of stylized version, clearly in change from police cars. So just pulling the decals off the of police cars and not spraying them black and retaining the white wouldn't have looked particularly interesting. So just decided to make them all matte black to make them really brutal and sort of masculine, if you like. And they look fearsome as well. When we actually Photoshop them up, there's not clearly no other color to go for other than black. It kind of has like that uh, dirt track, circle track, NASCAR look combined with, you know, modern, you know, four-door charger. So I think it definitely has some attitude to it, you know. I was totally pleased with the way the car came out.